So to create a new product, I guess we really kind of start with a, a, a workshop where we'll get a, a few parents along, a few retailers, my design team, and some of the guys from the marketing team, and we'll sit down and thrash out uh, a load of ideas around a, a new product idea or category. So for instance, it might be um, um, how to keep ent kids entertained in the car. So we'll end up post-it noting up every little idea everyone has on the wall, explore different avenues and directions, whether that might be down a musical route or a, a kind of activity route or what they can do just looking out the window, etc. Post up a load of ideas. Normally a, an idea generation workshop will come up with about 100 to 150 ideas. Uh, we then sort of after the workshop look at all those ideas and sort of map out which ones are kind of a bit too blue sky, which ones are a little bit more tangible and uh, kind of cement them down into some product category concepts. Um, we'll then uh, develop those a bit further in kind of sketching and things like that and really try and capture encapsulate an idea in a, uh, just a simple sketch presentation. We'll then kind of look to see if those ideas meet the company's objectives and kind of long-term strategic uh, kind of goals. Uh, then we'll probably riddle it down to about five or ten concepts, which we'll then put into some consumer research groups. So we'll actually get parents around the table and show them the ideas. Uh, we'll all be sat in another room, linked by video or a one-way mirror, and really get some genuine feedback from our real target audience. Um, with us, it's more, at the moment, dealing with the parents, the children. We don't really involve a huge amount of focus groups. Um, at that stage because they're quite young but the parents will give us their feedback and quite often some of our favourite ideas that we think are absolute winners get thrown out immediately and they normally give us um, some really valuable insights and feedback and, and try and we end up amalgamating a couple of concepts to, to form normally a short list of three which we'll then start developing further, start doing a lot more design development work on, start involving um, some quotes from the factories in China um, start making a lot of prototypes and the whole thing kind of moves on fairly slowly. So the manufacturers in China um, will also start involving some of the sort of safety test houses at a very early stage where we'll send them some concept sketches and get them to advise of which European safety standards or even US safety standards will be applicable. Can they see any potential issues with one of the designs that we're developing that we can start designing out very early on? Um, and um, yeah, there's a, uh, it's a very long drawn out process, but hopefully that explains it to some extent. So the idea for Trunky was really born out of um, a national luggage design I entered back in 1997, so over 13 years ago now, and um, uh, basically found myself second year student studying product design into this national luggage competition that students across the country had done as well and was out looking for inspiration. So I was in a department store looking at the luggage section and getting really bored. There wasn't anything very exciting there that was floating my boat. Maybe it was the big kid in me, but I found myself downstairs in the, the toy department. I was really looking at the ride-on toys they had there that kind of uses manufacturing technique called rotational moulding. And I really thought there's a lot of wasted space there to make that ride-on toy. And if I'm designing a piece of luggage, why not make a hard shell around a space that could still function as a ride-on? So really kind of sculpting a saddle in there and putting some wheels on and, and making it a toy that would function as a ride-on but also a luggage. And having travelled quite extensively previously, I was kind of... I'd seen bored children in the airport, so I thought that that could be a, a good idea. So that was, I guess, really the eureka moment. And then it's been a very long and winding process from winning the competition back in 1998 through to actually starting trading in 2006. But that was partly down to me wanting to develop my professional career, partly down to being knocked back by many manufacturers when I was trying to license the idea, and then having a failed licensing deal, uh, through to then finally having an opportunity to, that I was at a stage in my career where I wasn't feeling any more fulfilled and thought actually uh, I could do a better job with this. Well, we want to become recognised as the successful creator of global brands that facilitate the perfect journey. So we're, we're inventing a whole range of new travel products purely for children and families that can really encourage parents to take their children off exploring the world where I really think they can develop and learn so much as little people.